So now this video, um, see from the title what it is, this was a kind of viewer's request, not really, Margot said why don't you do this video um, about tender fragrances and it's the definition of the word tender I suppose is quite a quite a tricky one to kind of go without isn't it? Tender is is can mean a lot to everyone but tender is kind of a soft a soft love isn't it? It's um it's kind of a gentle, empathetic even kind of love. You can have tender from your partner. You can have tender from, from a, a friend or a family member or something. It just means almost soft and, and without wanting anything back or, or just a kind of comfort, to comfort someone, to make them feel loved or wanted or better. And um, can fragrances be tender? Can they give you this kind of soft, gentle hug or caress or tap on the head and that? And um, yeah, maybe. So th this is I'm not. This is not going to be a long video. I'm just going to get right into it. So here are my tender fragrances. Now first is Jupe Laban um, or Labane or whatever. Now this is one of them fragrances that kind of got lost in the history of time it's one of the most genuinely criminally underrated fragrances ever it's very affordable it's basically vanilla and tonka some people get more vanilla i or some people get more tonka i'm on the vanilla side um soft aldehydes resins a little bit of incense there's, there's a whole million list like an old school fragrance little soft flowers and that the name is kind of very suiting of it. It is like a warm bath, a warm enveloping soft caress all around you. Um, I suppose that makes it quite self-explanatory as why it's tender. You know, when you get in a bath and you're relaxing and you've got bubbles, you've got your little duck, your little cow sponge, you've got your cat leaning over the edge, perving on you, trying to jump in and um, risk some sort of surgery being needed after it's that kind of relaxing calm tenderness isn't it it's just self tenderness as well if you like this one this is just um, treating yourself spoiling yourself giving yourself a little peace of mind a little time to unwind and that's ultimately what this fragrance is so that's jubilee of course the small indie houses are going to be in here because it's, it's me um, One Way Bridges Dynasty. Now this fragrance is a fairly simplistic fragrance and it's a fragrance that kind of harks back to something we'd have got before. It's about um, inspired by Elisa's mother and I think it takes me to my mother and all your mothers out there. If you grew up in like the 80s like I did or the 70s and stuff when times were simpler. I'm not looking at the romantic uh, rose vision glasses because um, <laughs> it was simpler for, for a bloody reason, because it was miserable and awful. But anyway, um, you know, you'd have the washing on the line on a summer's day, and you'd be able to smell the fabric softener in the air, and the little flowers we'd have around. We always used to have great gardens back in them days, didn't we? I had a massive garden. It was very... Um, I, I, I started life better than, <laughs> than it is now, let's put it that way. A big huge garden, washing on the line, gooseberry bushes, flowers all around. And it's kind of got that calm air. And, um, you know, fresh bedding and fresh washing. Maybe it reminds us of our mothers because she obviously... Well, some people probably still have their mothers doing the washing, not me, obviously. Um, but yeah, it has that kind of tender warmth. The fabric softener reminds you of your mum tucking you in at night and stuff. You know, I'll give it... More. <laughs> it's not, you know, this is not a therapy session. It wasn't quite as uh, lovely as that with my mother, but um, yeah, but tucking you into bed, we'll leave it at that, and uh, you know, shouting at you. It gives you that, that tender, that tender, um, lovely hug from your childhood. So that is um, One Way Bridges Dynasty, and it's a uh, black opium. I mean, whether this. This is, a, you know, these are real scent memories we have or whatever. We do associate um, certain fragrances with um, 
with kind of times past and, and certain people and certain loves. And I suppose, with, again, my age, it's kind of a, a first love fragrance, isn't it? Because everyone wore it. Um, and your first love doesn't necessarily have to be your first uh, encounter or your first girlfriend or anything. It's the first time you kind of, I think, fall in a way you never have before. And <clears throat> that always stays with you. And that, that's quite human, isn't it? You, you, maybe sometimes you wish it was still there, but in reality it wouldn't be the same would it you can't ever recreate that you might get better loves or just different loves isn't it and black opium it's the you know the coffee the vanilla well the alleged coffee vanilla jasmine kind of soft florals it takes i mean people my age to being young again and all them exhilarating feelings and the, the tender kisses which can be much more exciting than a, a kind of raunchy kiss and all of that, can't they? So yeah, I don't need to waffle on. That's is pretty much what black opium is from Isilo. And then he kind of, you know, I've, I've had my mum there, so your dad. Um, a lot of us, well, there's a Haroth's poor home, which is a kind of classic, more fougere one. A little bit of darkness in there, a little bit of... it's it's. It's one you'd, if your dad was cool, would probably have wore back then. Um, and it, a lot of us, it's not just me, have had, you know, separated from our fathers at young ages and stuff, but I um, still remember being young. And my dad probably, in his own way, he's not, not good at expressing emotion and, and things like that, he was always a, always a good dad. He was always a dad that showed he cared without doing anything do you know what i mean he always kind of knew and he knew he was he was young when he had me i was his second kid he was even younger then but <laughs> yeah he's always, he's always a good man a good man he might not have known what to do or how to do it but you always got that that love from your dad and i don't know i can't speak for everybody else and their dads but my dad is a good man and um I do often think, you know, in my entire lifetime, I haven't spent much time with him at all, which is is sad and now grown up and that, but he's still a dad I can rely on. He's still still a very intelligent, smart man. Um, you know, he's an old school hippie, a rocker. And no, I don't get my ridiculously liberal views from him. He's not quite as bad as me, but his open-mindedness, his accepting of people, his is kind of the complete opposite of my mum, his calmness, his sereneness, is is where this fragrance kind of takes me. Um, you know, if the awkward hugs of youth, um, you know, still still fond memories. I mean, now he just gets a hug off me whether he wants one or not, because I'm not, I'm not old school, not from that generation, am I? So that's Zahara Puram. And finally is, um, this had to be in this, this list, um, I've kept it brief, kept it to five, I think, um, is Rolling in Love is, yeah, now, like I say, it could be a raunchy one, it could be whatever one, but this, this also can just be lying in bed next to someone, you know, watching a bit of TV, a bit of the kind of um, just soft caress of being with someone, just knowing someone's there, feeling their skin against you. A kind of tender love, that, that little smell of human musks in the air, the tiny musky whispers and that. Or it could be, you know, a kind of slightly more intense tender, where you're just kind of lay next to each other. Kind of you can feel the, the, the warmth and the, if you like, the lust or whatever from them. They're not touching them, but, you know, the the kind of teasing each other without without going there, the, the, the creating this kind of ache to kiss, to touch, to jump on each other, but not doing it, that kind of building it up, that kind of, yeah, tenderness and, 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 and empathy, an empathy, a feeling that they're close and they're, they're nearby and they want you and um, there's just that buzz, that electricity and that's what rolling in love is sometimes. So I'm not going to keep waffling on and on and on. Again, this is not a Barbara Cartland novel. So that's Rolling in Love from Kim. Again, trying to keep this brief, because I need some brief videos, don't I? Not 
40 minute long ones. What's your tender fragrances? What, what, what's tenderness to you? What, what, where do you see it? Do you see it as a kind of a, a soft kind of, um, you can't use tender, but a soft kind of gentle love, uh, that love from all them people I mentioned. What are your tender fragrances? What sort of uh, stuff do you kind of um, wear to, I was going to say tenderise yourself. <laughs> Don't tenderise yourself. But, well, that, you know, that's what tenderising is, isn't it? Ultimately, it's softening it up, loosening up, kind of, you know. Anyway, um, how, what would you wear for your little bit of you time and stuff? All right, thanks, folks. Bye.